Hello and welcome to this video on biology. This is Preetam Dakar for Perfect Scores and this video is covering a very very important topic of genetics which is sex linked recessive diseases. So we are taking example of two diseases. One is red green color blindness and the other one is hemophilia. So these are sex linked recessive conditions or specifically X-linked, that means X chromosome, the female chromosome linked recessive conditions. Because the male chromosome, that is Y chromosome, is very small in size as compared to the X chromosome. So if the X chromosome is this big, the Y chromosome is only this big. So as a result, a lot of extra genes are present on the X chromosome which are not present on the Y chromosome and this is one of these are one of those diseases whose genes are present only on the X chromosome and as a result it is known as X linked recessive conditions why recessive because the dominant form of these alleles does not give rise to the disease it is the recessive form of these alleles that gives rise to the disease so a few things you need to know about these two kinds of diseases. First of all, the males are going to have only one allele of these genes because they have only one X chromosome, not two X chromosomes. That means they cannot be a carrier. So they will either suffer from the disease or not. They cannot carry it. Because to be a carrier, you need one dominant allele and one recessive allele. So recessive, recessive, in case of females, it gives rise to the disease. Recessive, dominant, gives rise to the person becoming a carrier in females. Dominant, dominant, gives rise to no disease at all. This is in case of females. In case of males, they don't have the Y chromosome, so let's not uh, worry about the second allele. Either they will have the recessive allele or they are going to have the dominant allele. If they have the dominant allele on the X chromosome and the other chromosome is Y, which is obvious, they will not have the disease. If they have the recessive allele on the X chromosome and there will obviously be no allele on the Y chromosome, it's going to be a disease for them. So this is something that you need to know. There is no carrier condition present in males for the disease. So coming back to these points. In males, they have only one allele, so they cannot be a carrier. The second thing, this means that males have a higher frequency of being recessive. So the frequency is 50%, so 50% chance of being recessive, 50% the chance of being dominant. And they have a high frequency of being recessive and having the disease. The third important thing you need to know, that means males always inherit this disease or this kind of condition from the mother. Because to begin with, Males do not have the disease, but only when the mother has a disease, then they inherit one of the recessive genes, the recessive alleles. Females, on the other hand, will only inherit this kind of a disease if they receive the recessive alleles from both parents. Because again, go back to the table that I've drawn in the top uh, corner. For a female to have a disease, she needs both recessive alleles, which will be possible only if they receive both recessive alleles from both parents. So let's see how this works out when we use symbols and characters and letters. So when you assign alleles for sex-linked traits, we don't just write capital A, small a, capital B, small b like that. So in case the person has a disease, We are going to take the example of hemophilia. So H is dominant and small h is recessive. So in case of males, there are only two conditions that are present. Either 
they will have the dominant allele on their X chromosome or they will have the recessive allele on the X chromosome. In case of females, there are three conditions possible. Either both of them will be dominant or both of them will be recessive or one of them is dominant, one of them is recessive. So let's see what's going to happen in these five different kinds of individuals. If the male has a dominant allele, that means he is not suffering from the disease. If he has a recessive allele, he is suffering from the disease. If females have both dominant alleles, that means they are not suffering from the disease. If they have both recessive alleles, that means they are suffering from the disease. And if they have a heterozygous condition, one dominant, one recessive, since the dominant one overpowers the second one, it does not suffer from the disease, but it has the ability to pass it on to future generations, so it is known as a carrier. Now, how is it a carrier? For this, let's look at the kind of gametes that these five combinations will be producing. The male that was absolutely fine will produce two kinds of gametes with dominant H and the Y chromosome. The male who had the disease will produce the one with the recessive allele and the Y chromosome. Now this female is going to give rise to two dominant alleles through the gametes. This female is going to give rise to one dominant and one recessive. This female is going to give rise to two recessive alleles. Now let's suppose fertilization happens between this Y and let's say this X. So what is the child going to be? It's going to be a healthy male. But let's suppose, and let me change the color of um, the ink for this. Let's suppose fertilization happens between this Y and let's say this particular X. What is their offspring going to be? A diseased male. Right, so I hope I'm you're able to understand this. Let me try out one more combination using some other color. Okay, let's suppose the fertilization takes place between this particular allele and again this particular allele. What is their offspring going to be? It's going to be homozygous. That means a female child which will have the disease. So you can see this person who is the carrier is not suffering from the disease on her own, but she has the ability to pass it on to her children through this dominant, uh, through this recessive allele. So that is how the person is known as a carrier. So let's study a few statistics for that. First of all, the probability of inheritance, the probability of inheritance in case of a male is 50% if the mother is a carrier. If a mother is a carrier, there are 50% chances that she will transfer the X recessive gene and 50% chances that she will transfer the dominant gene. But the probability of inheritance in a female is 0% if the father is unaffected. Because remember, to get the disease, a female needs both recessive alleles. If the father is un un uh, unaffected, that means his allele combination is this. So there is no recessive allele that the father can give. So the female is absolutely fine. So this was all that you need to know about uh, these specific diseases that is colorblindness and hemophilia both work in the same way. So I hope this video was useful and thank you so much for watching this video.